It was like a original, a copy, a copy of the copy, and then a fax of that. Copy. Oh my gosh, very after. Do you know what it is? It's like if you have contractors come to your house and you get like the perfect copy that they write on the white one, and then the yellow one is like just a little bit dull, and then the pink one's like really janky and you can't really see it. Like that's. Oh. It, it was essentially what you order online versus what you order on Wish. Oh! <laughs> Hillary, do you have an analogy? <laughs> uh, no, <clears throat> you all three are going to get canceled and I'm going to be just fine. <laughs> hey, everybody. Welcome back to Totally Off Topic, the show where we talk about whatever we want. <laughs> and right now we are talking about and recapping the most current season of The Bachelor. But we're gonna be talking about other things down the road, so make sure you subscribe. Subscribe to Broken Drift Productions to get all of that awesome content pretty much every day. We've got something dropping. And subscribe um, wherever you listen to podcasts too, because we got it going on. With that being said, I am thrilled to be here with my favorite people. Please welcome comedian Carrie Gallagher. Hey. The very funny Miles Weber. Hi. And the very skilled producer of Broken Drift Productions, Hillary Hudson. Hi. I got skills, y'all. <laughs> nope. um, I was off last week for a show, so I am like pumped to be back with you all today. I Did you miss me? Terrible. Absolutely. Thank you. That's what I want to hear. I like that. Um, <laughs> things are really heating up on The Bachelor, and um, let's get into it. You guys talked probably last week a lot about this MJ Jacinia thing, and it was all accumulated, accumulated um, in this first moment with the showdown. Carrie Gallagher, what did you think about what happened? Did you think that was going to happen? Yeah, because MJ's an asshole. She fluffed her hair. She needed to go. She was bad. Like, just look at her. She's the evil villain. She's got the hard jaw and she's like, ah. Um, Miles, in your younger days, if you would have saw a girl like MJ, like, what would be your reaction? Would you cut and run? Would you stay and like, you know, poke the bear? Wait, that sounds weird. What would you be your reaction to, a, to an MJ back then? I mean, if it's my younger self, I probably would have poked the bear. But I mean, <laughs> it's, I was young, dumb, and full of stuff. So yeah, and like, so yeah, I probably would have poked the bear, but I mean, nah, she definitely went to, when she was talking about the, what was it? Weak bitch energy. Is that what she was talking about? She just said it like seven times. And that's weak bitch energy. And so if, I think if I was ever on like a date with somebody that said that about like fixing their hair or so, it was something stupid. She was doing nothing. And she's like, that's weak bitch energy. And I'm like, you're going to go on a killing spree. You need to go right into therapy. Uh, yeah, I, I don't think I would have poked the bear if somebody would have said that. I don't care how old I was. I think that poke the bear was like a synonym for like, the, I think I was just thinking about your, you have great stories about hecklers and handling people when they get unruly. And I was thinking, Miles, you could probably really handle MJ verbally. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I mean, it's, I'm, I'm really good with like, calling people out when they say stupid shit and so yeah she didn't really have a leg to stand on with anything she just kind of submitted like she had all this walk and everything and then she was just like i love you and this is great and i was like who are you now like yeah. you got multiple um, personalities i think jesenia was really right on target with her like summation of mj and the things that she was saying i thought she was very clear like she had been to a mediation or something like that. Did you notice that, Hillary? Yeah, honestly, like, I think that MJ has been hurt in her life because if the whole, like, big, like, bad bitch energy and, like, all that, like, I think that, like, she definitely, like, has to talk herself into that persona or that, like, character and she sees, like, being weak as, like, being emotional or whatever. I mean, I definitely think that she she's had and also needs further therapy. Yeah, and also some of her stuff just didn't match. And then she goes, I'm about peace and love. And you're like, what? That's not, that's not bad bitch energy. What are you talking about? 
So bye bye MJ. That was quickly resolved and she was out the door. Really quick, what do you think Jacinia's chances are of getting like further? Does she have a shot or should she have just gone home too, Carrie? No, she has zero shot. I, I think I think they both suck and I'm surprised both of them didn't go home. Um, and I don't like Jasenia's style. I don't like all of her shady comments that are wrapped up in perfectly um, communicative sentences. Like it makes me, it makes me so angry. It's like a visceral reaction I have to her. <laughs> I was falling for it. Miles, you're nodding your head. You're in agreement with KG. Oh uh, yeah, nah, she's she's terrible. I mean, it's just that, that just there's there's so many other relationships that are so far ahead of her. Like mm -hmm. just yeah, man. Though get given what how we know the episode ended with who got sent home and everything, it's like if she's going, then yeah, just and yeah, I don't think she's got a shot at all. Yeah. Well, she was out of there, and then we went to a rose ceremony almost immediately, which was. I mean, the timing and the producing of this is very interesting, but three girls were eliminated, Ryan, Maggie, and Brittany, which I thought that was really shocking. Did any of those shock you? Who? Brittany was the one who they said- I know. Was, right? Yeah, that sucks. That one, I was surprised. That one, I was just like, really? She just came on the show, got dragged, and then got sent home? You know what? I all this time I wanted um, I wanted Brittany to go, but I am an escort. You know, <laughs> um, but she didn't. Number now, <laughs> like I'm available. Um, Carrie, what did you think of Ryan just losing her stuff? Like so upset about not getting time. Her reaction is justified i get that there's a lot of girls and the time is still finite with matt james but also like when you look at the grand scheme of things how much time she was there versus her reaction was definitely um, over dramatized yeah i feel like she like quit her job or something to be there because she was like way too upset about it like she must have given up something or passed up on an opportunity or like Cause she just kept saying like, it can't be it. Like I should just seem it, there was something else. Or she knew that she hasn't been around long enough to do anything consequential enough to get screen time. So she's like, I got to throw like a hot girl mess right now. Like this is the only way I'm going to be trending on Twitter. Let's go. Check. Yeah, she went and I, when she was started freaking out, I was like, who are you? Like even, why are you panicking right now? Um, I, I agree with that. And okay, I hate to judge people by their looks, but I think being at home, not there, that's one way we judge people is on their looks. Um, she kind of looks like the least attractive of about the same four girls. Like she's the same as like three or four girls and she's not the prettiest one of them. I'm sorry. I bet you she's a great person. Carrie, did you think that too? Don't be, help me not feel like a jerk. No, you are not a jerk. There were parts during this episode where the girls were sitting on the couch and there would be four girls sitting next to each other. And it, it looked kind of like, it it kind of looked like um, ugly, pr kind of pretty, prettier, prettiest, gorgeous. So it was like, I understand the spectrum that you're talking about. And here's the thing, half the fun of this show is judging the girls. I mean, that's essentially what Matt James and the producers are doing. So we're not tearing these women down. That's not, that's not, I mean, we are doing that, but we're doing it in, in a, in a fun, a banter style. Yeah. It was like a original, a copy, a copy of the copy, and then a fax of that. Copy. Oh my gosh, very after. Do you know what it is? It's like if you have contractors come to your house and you get like the perfect copy that they write on the white one, and then the yellow one is like just a little bit dull, and then the pink one's like really janky and you can't really see it. Like that's. Oh. It, it was essentially what you order online versus what you order on Wish. Oh! <laughs> Hillary, do you have an analogy? <laughs> uh, no, <clears throat> you all three are going to get canceled and I'm going to be just fine. Oh. <laughs> Man, I did not have my money on this being what I got canceled for. <laughs>
So, um, and that's why, so that's what, what got me thinking. Do you think the girls who haven't had a lot of screen time at this point, do you think that they even have a chance at this point? No, and that's what I was thinking too. Like, I really, really like Chelsea. I like her a lot. And I was so surprised that she didn't go home this episode. And I think it's like only a matter of time. That makes me really sad. Like, I really like her. But I think that like, if we don't know, if they aren't talking a ton and they aren't super like, they don't have some kind of like plot twist or something going on right now, like they're probably not going to be in the end. Yeah. And then at that point, it makes, I think that would make eliminations really easy. Like, bye-bye. So things are getting real now. Everyone's like, this is getting real. The first date card came for Piper. But before that happened, they kind of started to trickle in and ease that Heather Martin is coming to Neil Cullen. What do you guys think about this? Miles, what do you think about Heather and her caucasity is what I'm going to call it. Oh, she just came rolling up in the minivan. Like, hi, hello, can I come in? Uh, no, you can't. Even Chris Harrison was like, we're almost done. Like, <laughs> why are you, e if Chris Harrison's talking you out of obvious drama, you know it's for not. Like, so yeah, he was trying to give her the hint. She's like, no, I have to meet him. It's just like, stop it. So no, I, I hated it. I hate that she's there. <laughs> Hillary. It's weird too, like I have to meet him. And then she like, he like calls her by name. He definitely like knows who she is. And then she's like, it's nice to meet you. Like the whole thing's really weird. Like it would be different if maybe they had like sort of been dating before. And then she's like, you can't do this. I I really do love you. I'm sorry, yeah. give me a chance. Or like, I don't know, some kind of something. But like, it's so stupid. I think Chris Harrison's a terrible actor. I think he definitely knew that she was coming. Cause he's like, weirdest thing I've ever seen and he just said it like so like he's I don't know stupid she's really lucky they got rid of MJ they got rid of Victoria and all the mean girls because they would have eaten her alive oh, yeah. um Carrie how long do you think uh, Heather Martin's gonna last halfway through next week I mean we already saw spoilers of her crying <gasps> yeah. yeah they're already gonna take her down they didn't learn their lesson a, even a little bit they were like <laughs> Two seconds from being like, man, yeah, guys, all about no bullying in this household. Thank God the toxicity's out. The second Heather comes in, just roosh. Like, it was this, wild. This season, this season should be, like, titled No New Bitches. Like, we're not, we have no, because I'm like, man. And, but I don't feel bad. I mean, I, she just, she just got in there with her white teeth and her blue eyes and her sparkling smile. It's too much. It's too much. <laughs> she's, she's wild. And Matt didn't have a good reaction when she came in the room. That was not a, oh, I'd like to maybe have sex with you later. Like, that's not what guys do when they're ready. They don't go, ah! like, that's not good. <laughs> that doesn't mean I want to have sex with you later. It really doesn't. Oh, hold on, let me take a note. Um, <laughs> Okay, so then that led into, I think some kind of boring dates. The first one was Piper. Um, I've, been, I've been wanting to say this for a couple weeks. Piper has been such a bummer. They always got her on this like, kind of like sad face. So I was like, gosh, thank goodness they, they gave her a date. What did you think of this, um, about this date and their relationship? Carrie, I'm throwing it to you. I was getting friend vibes. I was getting friend vibes from them. And I think Piper is, one of the most beautiful gals in the house. I think she's articulate, well-spoken, seems really smart, but I was getting friend, friend vibes that whole time. And I feel really bad that at the end, they go out to dinner and she starts to tell him that she's falling in love with him because Matt is literally, he is just going to say back to you whatever you say to him. And he's just leading this girl on, but he does not, have feelings for Piper. So I feel really bad for her. That's a good point, Miles. We saw what last week when, you know, maybe what it looks like when both people are in love, right? With Rachel. Um, if you compare that to what happened with Piper, do you think Piper's got a chance? I don't think so. Nah. I mean, it just, he seemed like he had friend vibes on both dates. I mean, Piper at least had the more romantic date of the two one on ones. So, I mean, she at least had that going for her. So I don't know. I mean, it, 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 it strikes me as he's attracted to her physically, but beyond that, 
he's just kind of meh. So, I mean, I don't know. We'll see if he keeps her around for the fantasy suites. That'd be messed up. <laughs> well, I've had uh, little daydreams if I was on this and I would, uh, what I would say, what is the most inappropriate thing I could say? Like, just say it. And I feel like I'd want to be like, keep me for the fantasy date. Right. <laughs> um, like, what would you do? And, and, and I'll let you guys volunteer, whoever really wants to do this challenge. What would you do to ensure you got picked for the overnight date? Wear the key around my neck. <laughs> the key to the, the room? Sweet. Yeah, 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 I'd have the key around my neck. It'd be like an actual key, not any of that card shit, like a real one. <laughs> and just keep holding it up. Yeah, um, keep flashing it. Hillary, what would you do to seal the deal? I don't know. I mean, honestly, like, I think you can see a lot of them doing it the whole time, like right before, right before when they know they have like a thing. I can't even remember her name, but she's like, I'm falling for you. Like they all just sort of like raise their voice and flutter their eyes and lean in. And they say like, I'm, I'm falling for you. Like they definitely, I think they're all like, you can see them working it during their like few minutes that they get just because it's like, you can't send me home because I'm falling for you. And maybe that other girl hasn't or whatever. I don't know what I would do different, but. Good point. Oh my gosh. KG, what would you do? You went to ASU. Come on. You got moves. Okay. Rule number one, you obviously play hard to get, but you give them a little bit. And I think what these girls aren't doing, and I haven't watched enough to know if this happens. Personally, I would never do this, but I would coach my girl to do it. You show, you, you give them a condom and be like, Who, we don't need to wait to the fantasy suite. Ah! We're, we are adults. Hey, you know, We're, should we just should we we don't need, do we don't need to wait, but then you play hard to get, you get in his brain and he's the only one who's, you know, he's poked your bear or you're poking his bear or whatever. And then you're in his brain and it's like coronavirus. He can't, you know, it's just in there forever. You know what? Po getting in his brain. I think that is a good key. You do do that. You know what I would do now that I, now that I've had all these ideas, you know how he's always puts his hand on their legs. I would put my hand on his leg. Get in his head. It was kind of gross when he grabbed Piper's leg during their day and they like zoomed in on it. I was like, oh, I don't know. It's skeezy. It seems skeezy right now. I, I'm getting bad vibes. It's weird when he did it to Jusenia because it's like it wasn't really like a datey moment. It was like we have an issue. So stop touching. Ugh. So that was a lot of fun. That was the date that ended with Temecula Road. Miles, you noticed that he, was he looking at the lead singer pretty closely? Oh yeah, he was. Yeah, yeah, what did he say? He did that, that thing guys do where they stick their jaw out and look up. Like, I don't know what it is about like a sharper jaw that guys think that this is gonna, let me put the leno out there and let me, all the girls are gonna come to the yard. I don't know, it's weird, but that's what he did. He like, Taking notes again, put yeah. the, the jaw, the leno. All right, all right, so. Um, oh, and meanwhile, the filler, I call it the filler fight, Katie and Serena. What was up with that? What was your take on that? Hillary, I'm going to start with you. Okay. So this is all I have to say on that. I can't stand Serena and I don't think it's her fault. I think that they're editing her that way. I think it was Jessica Rabbit that said, I'm not bad. I'm just drawn this way. <laughs> yeah. I think that that is, oh, well, see, Okay. I mean, I think that that's like really how she is. I think that they, you know, you get rid of all the bullies and you have to like, ha you still have to have someone who creates drama. So even though she's annoying, I think a lot of it is just like her producing and the way that they're editing her because they have to have someone. Yeah, it was awkward. It was like, why are, yeah, they just went to, a, okay, you're the new villain or whatever. Do you think, I mean, is it, is this real? Is it just filler? I mean, is there anything worth talking about here? I don't know. I mean, it just seemed like she's like, it seems like you're always around when there's drama, like telling on people. So it kind of had that like snitches get stitches energy to it. Like, how dare you put your nose in our business when our business is bad? And so, yeah, it was just it was stupid. It was it was all completely stupid and just felt really odd 
And I just, this, I never thought that she was produced though. Cause I look at Serena, I'm like, I just hate this bitch. Like she's oh. just irritating. I liked her up until this week, I think. When, maybe when I got to know her and I'm like, ew. Anyway, well, with that being said, next was the big bowling group date. And I feel like this was kind of the A team. These were all the girls that had dates. So I think they were confident. Doesn't Rachel just have like that confident, like <laughs> I got some red bottom shoes. Um, um, and then the, it was the blue team um, that won and then they got the after party. Then everybody was so stressed about time, like so stressed. And then it was like, whoops, just kidding. Um, everybody can hang out on this date. Um, and I feel like that was a ploy to get everybody in the same spot because I think, well, we'll back up there, but let's talk about the food spread at that bowling alley and nobody ate it. Did you see it? The pizza? the nachos, the chicken tendies. Miles, did you notice that? Yeah, of course they didn't need it because they wanted to fit into their dresses later. Those poor girls just have to sit and look and think about food the entire time they're on the show. That's why they're so crazy. They're malnourished. I agree. I agree. Carrie, what stood out to you most during this whole bowling group date? I mean, were you surprised that the pink team were really good bowlers? Yeah, and I... I liked that we got to see all the girls just goofing off and having a fun time. Um, I think for any younger gals that watch the show from, I don't know, the ages of 13 to 15, it's nice to see a group of pretty girls, albeit, you know, uh, painfully skinny. Like I'm worried that they're going to like break their wrist as they throw the ball, but it was good to see them all come together and, and laugh a little bit. That is a really good point for that one girl. She said, um, she was like, Abigail, I love you, but please, you know, like gutter it or something. And yes. I was like, that, that's the cute way to just kind of be a little like diggy at that. So, but they, they got, they caught up, which was really cool. So, um, so good point there. So with that being said, again, everybody was really stressed about time. Um, and then it kind of blended into the Tyler C. What was the deal with Tyler C? He's a previous contestant. Is he married now, Miles? No, I believe he's still single because he's just been kind of hopping around from person to person. So, but yeah, now it was weird that he was there. I'm like, has he been here the whole time? Was he locked down? Like, yeah, it was very, very bizarre. It seems really common though in these that they need him to talk to somebody. So it facilitated that conversation of like, tell, who could he tell how he's feeling? Um, and the date was, which is really funny. I've seen this on David Spade with the comedy store about he's in the masseuses or the actor's ear and they are saying and doing what they tell him to do. what do you think about this prank and this joke? I'll start with you, Hillary. I thought it was stupid. I thought she got screwed and that's why she didn't get a good date. If I was her and I was at a spa and I didn't get a massage, I'd be so pissed. <sighs> that right there like I carry I think Katie got eliminated because he had the friend vibe I mean that's what he said but also that date was set up for friend vibes like couldn't they have done a couple's massage that would have been more romantic what are your thoughts KG I just think it's interesting that the only touching that occurred was between Matt James and Tyler and how can you have um chemistry with the dude you're on a date with when he's maybe a little bit more into his best friend really good did you see how much oil he put and then she, he was snuck like, a peak. she snuck a peek when they crashed the end of it and everything and it was like oh we got you she snuck a peek you saw her eyes go down she was looking at him checking him out mm -hmm. oh what did you think actually hillary this goes back to you said how the girls are trying to give him signals um katie yeah, that was Katie, right? Yeah. Katie did the uh, jump up legs around Matt twice. The first time was cool. And the second time, I'm like, oh, you're doing it again? It just feel, felt a very forced. Yeah, I think a lot of it is forced. I don't think he's that interested in a lot of them. And I think they seem like they're just doing all these things to try to like coerce him into picking them over the other girls. And he's just sort of just like hanging out, having a good time. He's into Tyler. <laughs> you guys. 
he's just like a drunk guy at a bar and it's almost closing time and he's just like enjoying all the attention and I, I'm starting to see Miles why you don't like Matt. Yeah, yeah, man. No depth to that dude. And I'm pretty sure he's got a thing for Tyler. <laughs> uh, I mean, he had great hair. Um, so then it was Katie's evening date and it was going so well. And then boom, failure to progress. You are out of there. I just wrote blindsided. Like, did you, was she blindsided? Were you blindsided at that? I thought it was a little odd to send her home on the one-on-one, -on -one. yeah, because, I mean, it seemed like they had a good time, but, I mean, yeah, the, I just kept circling back to, this is a friend date. This is super-duper tried and true. Do anything else. Give them a pedicure or something. Like, anything that isn't this. But, yeah, nah, man. The Impractical Jokers dudes don't have any romanticism between them. There's no sexual tension on that show. It's because pranking somebody isn't hot. Like, so, yeah, oh, I think she was yeah. just kind of doomed from the start. So, I mean... Yeah, it made sense, but it was a bummer because she's dope. Okay, so this is what I wrote. That is the most honest Matt has been. So I was kind of pleased because it's the first time he didn't just go on and agree. You know, did you notice that, Carrie, where he was just like, okay, I don't feel the same way. And you're like, finally, what did you think about the breakup and that whole blindside? Yeah, I mean, to this point, he has not sent a gal home on a one-on-one -on -one, and he's essentially echoed their sentiments. So that's why I was blindsided. I was just thinking, wow, he's just going to keep leading all of these girls on. And I, I mean, eventually he's going to run out of roses. So I think Katie was blindsided as well. And yeah, I think, I think you make an excellent point. That was the most honest that we've seen him be all season. Call Sandra Bullock and Tim McGraw because she just got blindsided. <laughs> I, I should have done that sooner. Okay, so before we wrap up, um, the the last thing that happened was just the introduction of Heather. People were pissed. We know this. We don't think she's going to last very long. So let's take a look really quick. I'm going to look at the girls who are left and who do you think has a really good shot and who do you think is just chum in the water? So we've got, I'm going to run through them really quick. And then you can tell me if I got it wrong, but I've been keeping like the same list and I'm very proud of it. Okay, Brie, Rachel, Jasenia, Chelsea, Serena C, Serena P, Abigail, Piper, now Heather, and then Kit and Michelle. Who do you think has like the best like shot? Who's gonna do what? I think it's gonna be Abigail, Kit and Rachel. And I think that that's unfortunate also. <laughs> yeah. What is, side note, what's, I would be tripping if I was Abigail too. She got all the attention the first night, but hasn't gotten anything since. Uh, Carrie, what do you think is going to happen with these last girls or what do you want to happen? I think Brie and Rachel are front runners. And then that third spot is either going to be Michelle or Heather. I think Heather might actually make it to hometowns. Michelle. Or, or fantasy dates, whatever. The threes. Yeah. Uh, okay, Miles, what's your pick? I think, uh, I think the final few are going to be Rachel. Um, I don't think Heather. I don't think Abigail. I don't think Kit. Are gonna be in the final ones. Um, who, which one? What's the teacher's name? That the Michelle. Michelle. I think Michelle. I think Rachel. God. Um. Yeah. I don't know, but I just. I. Yeah. I don't see Kit or Heather. I don't see them doing much of anything. Just Senya for sure. Yeah. Absolutely not. Yeah. So, yeah um, I don't know. I think those ones. I think Michelle is like one of those perfect catches. She, she, it makes a lot of sense, but that's why he's not going to pick her, but he's keeping her on for a long time. But like, he, that's the girl you marry and he's not ready. I don't think he's ready to get married. No, I don't um, think he's going to end up with any of them in the like long run. I don't think he'll end up. I mean, it, it will fizzle out. I think he'll end up with Tyler. <laughs> he'll end up with, um, with with Dale and like they'll just like bachelor pad it up. Oh my gosh, maybe Matt should go out with Claire. Just kidding. Right? Um, that might be a thing. Who what? Knows? That might be a thing. Who knows? I don't know. I don't know. I think he's just got to work on himself. The boy doesn't. 
he's 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 that very emotionally intelligent doesn't know too much about his own what he's got going on so yeah i think he's got to figure that out first maybe garrett can come and give him a little iq eq quiz was that garrett the harvard guy from the last season no bennett Bennett. Bennett. yeah um interesting stuff question just a yes or no have any of you been listening or watching any spoilers no no okay me neither. i just i i, I know uh who he picks that's it you know things okay um okay we'll talk after this maybe um so exciting i never wanted to get into the bachelor and bachelor and look at me now i'm like <laughs> um most of my fun is just getting together with all of you. So thank you so much for joining me. Uh, Katie is not here today, but Carrie, Miles, and Hillary. I'm so glad. And all of you at home, thanks for tuning in. Subscribe to Broken Drift. We'll see you next time on Totally Off Topic. Bye-bye.